Good morning everybody and another glorious day. We have been so blessed with the weather here during this time of lockdown. Well I hope this finds you well and thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Today is Thursday the 23rd of April and we've been asked to remember today St George who is martyr and patron of England in 30. Four. So as we gather together with the bird song under this clear blue sky, let us pause for a moment and draw ourselves into God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm today is Psalm number five. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God. For to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let you who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. 
and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Our readings today are for um, the lectionary for St George. So this is uh, from Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 to 9. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant, Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hyites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put the people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them strong to give them only be strong and very courageous being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left so that you may be successful wherever you go this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth you shall uh, meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then sh you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Alleluia. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. Alleluia. Our second reading this morning is that reading from Ephesians 6, uh, chapter, chapter 6, verses 10 to 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole army of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, 
and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplications for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some powerful words there this morning. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And now for our Benedictus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. And now for our time of prayer. As I mentioned yesterday, today is the anniversary that I've been rector of the Benefice of St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter. Um, I was licensed two years ago on the 23rd of April 2018. So may this be an opportunity for us all this morning to pray for our benefice and in particular to give thanks for all that we have achieved together in this time, for so much that has gone on. And just to affirm that this morning. So do write any suggestions, but I just want to lift the benefits for all that we've achieved and for all the groups, all the work that goes on behind the scenes. So, St Dunstan's, for the messy church that's really beginning to thrive. We remember our messy church congregation which is numbering, I think the last time we met, we probably had about 40. So we give thanks for that. Give thanks for God's spirit working amongst so many people. For our toddler group, we pray and give thanks. And we give thanks for the leaders of these groups, for all the work that they do behind the scenes, the publicity and preparing and worship planning. We pray for our choir, for our music, for the work that they do. And the fact that so many are really missing this time of worship and singing together. We pray 
for our church wardens across the benefice for all the work that they do behind our scenes, for the work of our PCCs, our PCC secretary, our organists across the benefice, for those who clean and maintain our churches, for the holy dusters, for, those, for our sacristans and the preparation that they do and have done over the, over the years, but for me in the last couple of years. We pray for all the work that goes on in our halls, for all the groups that meet, for our friends of St Dunstan's, for the friends of St Mildred's, for all those who use our churches, and particularly at St Peter's, we remember um, our Romanian congregation there, and particularly as they celebrated their Easter last Sunday. For all the groups that hire the hall, for our coffee mornings, for the Mother's Union, both at St Mildred's and at St, P at St. Dunstan's. So Lord, we just give thanks for all that's gone on, for those that work tirelessly with the website, for those who contribute towards our magazines, which I know are on hold at the moment, but we just give thanks for all that has gone on. And at this key time, for the pastoral care and support so many are giving to others. So I thank you for that, but I know that thanks has rolled out across all those and particularly those who are isolated and at home who are unable to go out and particularly for those who are online. So to keep that network of phone calls, emails and chats for those who are helping each other practically with the shopping. We are a thriving community and for that we give you thanks, O oh Lord. And remaining ever mindful of those amongst us who are unwell at this time and in hospital, we pray for them. For those struggling in body, mind or spirit today. We give thanks for those members of our congregation who are key workers and as I speak working in intensive care so Lord we give thanks for them and for all the work that they're doing. For those who we know are struggling in body, mind and spirit and we continue to pray for all those known to us who perhaps we can't see at this time and for those who we can see no longer until that great banquet where we come together in eternal glory. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect for today. Just get that up. So, Heavenly Father, God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death, give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him the fullness of the resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and those that you love and pray for for this day and always. Amen. And we'll just have a moment to reflect and listen to those beautiful birds this morning. Thank you all. Have a lovely day in all that you are doing. And as our Bishop Rose says, just keep strong, or the, those words this morning, keep strong and keep courageous and keep praying. Keep connected and keep safe. And either join me for Compline this evening at seven. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, uh, Friday, for morning prayer at nine o'clock. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>